Thank you for taking the time to watch a demonstration of CGX. CGX is a next generation network access control solution that helps organizations manage security in the era of bring your own device. Leveraging that, companies can prevent rogue devices from joining the network, enforce policy compliance, configure employee owned BYOD devices for secure access, enable guest registration, and much, much more. One of the key strengths of the CGX solution is its ability to assign granular access policies based on the user, type of device, and numerous situations. For example, a contractor with a laptop that's connected from the right location and is compliant with policies will be able to access only the servers he needs to do his job, while a visitor with any type of device connecting during office hours would have access only to the World Wide Web. But seeing is believing, so let's begin. We'll start this demo at the CGX management screen. From this overview screen, we can see that there are currently five devices on this network. They've been profiled as an Android device, an iOS device, and three Windows devices. Currently, two of them have been assigned access, and three of them are currently being restricted. We will take a closer look at these three devices that are being restricted and show you the end user experience as they attempt to join the network. In the first use case, we'll take a closer look at the device running iOS. This iPad belongs to an employee who wants to register the device for internet access. When he connected to the network, his browser was redirected to a captive portal page. As an employee, he can click on Employee Device Registration, where he'll be prompted to input his AD credentials to register the device. We'll do that now. With proper registration, to be granted guest access. We're now switched back to the CGX management screen to see how his access has changed. Looking back at the CGX system overview screen, we can see the employee was successful in registering his device for guest access. There are still two more devices that are being restricted. So we'll next show you a more traditional guest access where the guest will create his own user account. In this next use case, we'll show an example where a visitor to the network needs access to the internet. There are several security options on how guest access can be configured. We can allow self-registration. We could require the guest to have an access code. We could verify the registration. Or a sponsor could create the account on behalf of the guest. In this demo, we'll show an example using self-registration where the user has an access code. Here is a Windows device that has plugged into the network. It got quarantined and its web page redirected to the captive portal. Now if this is a guest who's looking for internet access, he can click on the guest access link and this will bring him to a page where he can accept the terms of conditions. He will then be given an option to input an access code or guest credentials. Guest credentials could have been provided by a sponsor or could have been created earlier during a self-registration. In this case, we're using an access code provided by the receptionist or the employee he was visiting. Now with this access code, he'll be able to create his own account. Once his credentials are submitted, he'll be given guest access. And you can see he now has connectivity to the internet. Jumping back to the management reports, we can now see that we have two devices that have been granted guest access, with only one device remaining restricted. This last remaining device is an Android device, and it's failing the compliance audit. If we go to our compliance reports, we can see that there's one Android device that's currently non-compliant. If we drill down, we can see it's running Skype, which is currently prohibited. For this device to be on the network, it needs to pass compliance. So we'll make it compliant. Now that it's passed compliance, we'll refresh the monitor and we see that the Android device is also compliant. Jumping back to the CGX overview screen, we can see there's no longer any restricted devices and the Android device has been given mobile access since it has passed the compliance check. Well, that concludes our quick demo on how CGX can address your guest and BYOD requirements. However, CGX can address many other NAP requirements. 
So to learn more about CGX capabilities, please visit InfoExpress.com or email sales at InfoExpress.com. Thanks for watching.